Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to take a look at something that's a little different for us. This is going to be an orchestrated version of a song that we've already covered on the channel. The song is Tarkus by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And this is a somewhat shortened orchestrated version. This is a 10 minute long piece. Not quite the album side that the original was, which is fine by me. I'm pretty sure we can get everything we need to get in the 10 minutes. Now, it appears this happened in 2010, conducted by Sashio Fujioka, perhaps, performed by the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra, uh, arranged by Takashi Yoshitsune, and of course it's by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. So, Adrian, have you ever seen this before? No, I haven't. Well, I know that you used to have Tomita albums. Uh, Tomita did synthesizer versions right. of classical right. pieces. He did pieces like pictures at an exhibition. He did uh, the Firebird Suite by Stravinsky. You know, it's funny you say that because, of course, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer also did pictures at an exhibition. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> they did it in the rock way. So, okay. So maybe this is the third leg of a triangular uh, look at classical music and rock music coming together in various ways. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Two.
Mm, conductor must have been really tired after that. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks he, like he could be a sword fighter. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like he invented some of his own moves so he wouldn't have to do like the proper way of going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, or whatever. You know, with the, could be. Yeah, it could be. There, there's a way you're supposed to count with the wand or something like uh. that, but. I don't, I don't know. He he was doing it his own way, and it was working. So yeah, he was pretty <laughs> freewheeling, I must say. Yeah, yeah. There were times. Sometimes I thought he looked like a bullfighter, you know. <laughs> and other times it was like he was chopping at a side of beef or something. But uh, it was. I mean, it was great. I really liked his enthusiasm uh, for the piece, and it worked. I mean, every time he did that, like, bring it up, guys, and they did. You know, people. You know, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, quite fun, and yeah, I'd say that the the uh, arrangement got past the essence of the song. It, it yeah. really captured it. I mean, I, I recognized all of that. It reminded me that maybe uh, ELP. I mean, they were often uh, accused of being excessive for a rock band or a pop band for the time being. I think maybe just seeing this orchestrated like that, you can see that there was some real nice, probably music theory related things going on. They certainly had the feel and the ear for putting together things that would counterpoint each other well. Yeah. Which is what makes for a good orchestral arrangement of that song. I thought that was quite fun. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> there's, a, there's a guy named Robert Crisco who is a famous, famously sardonic and uh, slightly contemptuous music reviewer. Very famous guy, though. He's, he's reviewed everybody. And he doesn't like progressive rock very much. He always gives, you know, early Genesis, C pluses, and, you know, like, <laughs> yes, and, and ELP. He doesn't like ELP at all, you know. Mm -hmm. But there might be something to it. It may have sounded pompous to his rock and roll ears. But, you know, it's actually a pretty good piece, Tarkus is. It adapted well, I thought. You just never know. It's always good to get two sides <laughs> or get two different opinions, a second opinion on anything. Yeah, I've heard Tarkus a couple times now. I'm going you know, to have to go back and listen to both versions, or the version and whatever's on the album. I've been listening to the album. I've listened to it several times now because I, I enjoy it quite a bit. It's a good record. Yeah, I, I recommend it. You can listen to it on YouTube if you want. Anywhere else. I'll do that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again to Francisco for this suggestion, and I think it was a great one. It's uh, kind of helping us round out our whole ELP experience on this album, on this uh, channel. Pretty sure we'll catch a few other things in the future. So, yeah, folks, if you have suggestions for us, you can leave those below. We'll take a look. And, of course, if you've had any experience with ELP or with any act where there was an orchestration, maybe you went to Symphony Hall or, where you know, in your city, and uh, listen to an orchestration. I know that that was happening with Jerry Garcia at one point. Not him personally, but his music carried out by orchestras. I think Warren Haynes was involved in that. All of the reviews were stellar. So they did a spectacular job of marrying the two different styles of music and doing really interesting things. Well, sometimes rock and roll can kind of lend itself to that. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.